Are you today I thought I'd do a short sweet little video basically taking you guys along and over what I'm going to be reading in my first semester of my third year at university if you are new here like I said my name is Emma it's super nice to meet you and I'm going back to uni after a couple of years away because of a brain injury that happened in 2019 that I'm still dealing with but um, I'm ready I think I hope that I better be to go back to school and take a few courses I am in English literature that is just like my life my dream my everything and so these courses that I'm going to be talking to you about and modules and stuff like that are all literature courses so I thought I would take you over my TBR what I'm gonna be reading what I'm gonna be studying what I'm gonna be writing my essays on and just go through the books so far at least that I know I'm going to be reading I'm not gonna mention everything in here because there's so many tiny parts and pieces but just the bigger you know like texts and novels and stuff that I can show you so let's just get started I'm taking modules in Renaissance literature as well as literature from the United Kingdom um, including Ireland and stuff like that and just British literature so anyway we're gonna be reading Beowulf this is the translation by Michael Alexander this is originally an old English epic concerning Beowulf who is this warrior hero he goes on this adventure to commune with this leader named Hrothgar and Hrothgar's kind of kingdom and his area um, has long been plagued by this monster called Grendel that no one really knows too much about and they certainly don't know how to defeat him um, and Beowulf who thinks of himself as like the greatest warrior of all time goes over there and when he makes it there he's like okay I'm gonna take down Grendel watch out there's also dragons in here it's just a wild time so that is Beowulf I'm also going to be reading Memorial by Alice Oswald this one is like it's a retelling kind of thing of the Iliad, but it's more like poetry and it focuses less on like the plot events and the major events of the Iliad with like Hector and Achilles and Patroclus and like the war itself, but it focuses in on I believe like the setting, the atmosphere and this like world that is in the Iliad and also deals I think with a lot of the people who are like mentioned for a split second and then they're never mentioned again and like they're there participating in this war, but Homer like kind of glances over them. So I believe that's a lot about what Memorial is about it's kind of memorializing the war and making it this real thing, taking it down to minute details in order to, I believe, humanize it um, and look at it more compassionately, more than just mythologically, I think. So I'm really excited. I've never read Alice Oswald, so cannot wait to get into this. I always love when Greek myth and stuff like that gets studied in an English course, so that is memorial. Next up, I don't have to read this whole thing, thank goodness, but this is The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer. As you can see, this is absolutely huge, but I love this edition. If you don't know, Edmund Spencer wrote The Fairy Queen and he dedicated it to Queen Elizabeth, who in the book is kind of, you know, the fairy queen. I mean, look at her. It says he brilliantly united Arthurian romance and Italian Renaissance epic to celebrate the glory of the queen. Each book of this poem, of which we'll have to read a few, I'm not sure which certain ones yet, but regardless, each book of the poem recounts the quest of a knight to achieve a virtue. So these knights that we follow either have to battle certain monsters or take certain tests or trials to um, kind of achieve the virtue that they're working towards, whether that's holiness, you know, righteousness. This looks super intimidating as well. I believe it's in Middle English, so that should be interesting, but... Uh, yeah, I have a feeling I might choose to like write an essay on this and maybe like talk about Ovid and stuff because so much inspiration is taken from the Metamorphoses in here as well, so that is the Fairy Queen. Next, for Shakespeare, we're going to be reading King Lear in this semester. King Lear is about King Lear, who is a king who for some reason splits his kingdom up into three sections and gives them to his daughters and from there like it is just this huge bleak tragedy of awfulness. We slowly follow his descent into madness. He talks a lot about determinism versus free will, um, family life of course because there's a ton of family drama, really awful family drama in King Lear so yeah this is super depressing but also of course it's so beautiful and so many beautiful lines. So that is King Lear. Also going to be reading Utopia by Thomas More. This is about the ideal society, basically. So Utopia is this place where life is perfect, like kind of on the surface level. And it's Thomas More. It's like half satire, half like seedbed of ideas to be taken out and like pruned and planted into actual society at will. Definitely looking forward to reading this one. Um, it discusses a lot of different things like within the society, as you can imagine. So that is Utopia. Getting the biggest headache because the air pressure 
outside it's about to thunderstorm speaking of thunderstorms though we have frankenstein by mary shelley oh my gosh i feel like this one might be a text that i write on a lot um i've read frankenstein so many times by now but i love studying it every new time it's never boring it's never old it's always new and refreshing and like it literally just gets better the more times you read it i find so cannot wait to read this i don't think i have to tell you what this is about but like i think like i'm just really excited to rip this part and write an essay about it so if it's at all possible um, I really hope this one I can like do something bigger with rather than just, you know, read it and discuss it in class and write some stuff for tests or something. I hope I can take this somewhere else. So that is that. Then we have Endgame, An Act Without Words by Samuel Beckett. This is also a play. This is very, it's a time, it's something. So basically we follow these four people. They're in a house. We don't know if it's the end of the world. We don't know if it's an apocalypse. We just don't know why they're in this house, but outside everything is just bleak, gray. It's described as zero. They just all kind of exist in this house together. And sometimes it seems like they don't exist. It seems like they kind of disappear and reappear. Um, and it's just really, it's really horrifying, honestly, but that is end game. Next up, we're gonna be reading Paradise Lost. Once again, I don't think we're gonna be reading the whole thing, but certainly, um, I don't know which books actually who knows probably you know the most popular the most popular parts of the fan fiction so this is uh john milton it is it is bible fan fiction i know people get mad at me when i say that but it's true anyway as you can imagine this is a story of humanity's fall um and adam and eve and it also begins actually with like satan and his band of angels falling from heaven um setting up hell colonizing hell and stuff like that there's so much oh it's just so good like if you haven't read paradise lost it's actually so good, um, but I cannot wait to go back and just read this and there's so many just genius. It's absolutely genius. It's wonderful. Um, I don't know yet what we're going to be talking about or anything like that, which is exciting, but that is Paradise Lost. This one I hadn't heard of until I saw it on the syllabus, which made me really intrigued because it's not often that like you come across, I feel like, a work or a classic piece of literature or any piece of writing on a syllabus that you're not, that you haven't at least heard of kind of thing. So this one is Solar Bones. Um, and this is from an Irish writer. It's a lot more recent, which I love. I love when we get to study not necessarily contemporary, but more recent works because I think a lot of the times those are kind of glossed over or just not even considered to be put on syllabus. So Solar Bones, from my understanding, is the memoir or the memory or just like going through the mind of a deceased engineer who's sitting at his kitchen table in his home reminiscing on the memories of his life and his time while alive, but he's dead. Yeah should be interesting but that is that one um in terms of other just random poetry and pieces we'll be reading i have this very battered copy of the norton anthology of the 16th century and early 17th century i know that we're going to be reading sir thomas wyatt's um probably just a lot of sonnets and stuff like that we're also going to be reading john dunn as well as wordsworth keats not in the renaissance module but you know what i mean t.s Eliot for sure and i think a whole bunch of other little pieces from this textbook so should be good i don't i really hope we get to read dr faustus because i really want to read that one but that is that one so that's kind of everything that i know concretely that i'm going to be reading for first semester so I cannot wait to do back to school vlogs with you guys and just get into uni vlogs and studying and writing essays with you because I've missed it so much. I say this all the time, but like, I just, yeah, I really hope it goes well for me. And if you are struggling with something going back to school or, you know, you're just scared to go back because I think everyone's anxious for a number of different reasons, um, we can all go back together. Or even if that's going into work or something again for the first time after a long time. I'm nervous, but I am excited. So cannot wait i cannot wait to dive into all of those works and study them and yeah just have really good talks about it with you guys as well and kind of share my days at university so very much looking forward to filming those and you'll see those very soon so i hope you enjoyed this video if there's a book here or something that you'd like to see me do a particularly more in-depth video on or maybe just take you along on an essay writing process or something like that feel free to comment that but other than that i hope you have a really great day i'm gonna go bust a couple tylenol and catch you later. So 